fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from Proud Phoenix Media. We got a really great gaming tutorial today. We're gonna to take the SNES Classic or the SNES Mini, like some gamers call it, and we're gonna mod this guy to add additional SNES games, which is great. So in order to do this, go to GitHub. There's a link in the video description to Cluster M's GitHub page that has the latest version of this hack sheet too. So at the time of this recording, we're gonna use version 2.21D. Scroll down, get the portable edition or the web installer if you wish. I'm going to use the portable edition. It's on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead, right click, 7-zip, extract here. Meanwhile, make sure you get some games. So I went to Google and I got some random games here that I used to play as a kid. And I got the ROM folders, uh, uh, sorry, ROM games in this folder here. And we're good to go. So go ahead and do that. Get your favorite game collection as you wish. And then let's get started. So inside the Hacksheet 2 program, I'm going to right click the Hacksheet program, say Run as Administrator. For the first time, you're going to get this. I'm going to say SNES. There's a welcome message, say OK. Now let's go ahead and just dump the original kernel. So dump kernel, say yes, and then follow these instructions. So one, make sure the power's off. Two, make sure you connect your USB micro cable. Three, hold the reset button, and then number f and then turn on the power switch. And then number four, after a few seconds, uh, release the reset button. What I like to do is, you know, count to five or so, and then if you see like a progress bar, release the reset button like I just did right now, and then go ahead and do its thing. If you don't see this, you're going to have to install the driver for the very first time, which I already have installed, and then go ahead, redo that process again, and then you should be good to go. This will take a little while, just a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Okay, kernel dump process is done. Great, so go ahead in the Hacksheet program under the dump folder, here's your image file. Copy this, put it somewhere safe so in the future if you ever need it again, it's right there so you can revert back to stock. If you're curious on how to go back to original stock if you ever wish to in the future, it's real simple. Just go to kernel, uninstall, file the process we just did and you're good to go. The next thing we wanna do is let's go ahead and flash the custom kernel. So to go to kernel, flash custom kernel, do you want to flash the custom kernel? Say yes. After the custom kernel is flashed over, then we can go ahead, add our games, add our box art from Google. Uh, if you wish, you can also double check this selection here from the Hacksheet program. Make sure the max players is correct, your release date information, your publisher information as well. Also in the settings, I can't do this right now, but under settings, there are certain things in there where you can adjust your, how you can display your games. So there's a lot of different settings in there. Like in a nutshell, you can have folders, uh, games and folders, or you can have pages, or you can have none of that at all and just have all your games on the main page on the TV screen, basically. Also, another cool feature is you can do turbo mode. So I think it's like X and Y, for example, for your turbo buttons or A and B, something like that. And then also you can also um, do um, reset from your controller. So you press down and select during the game for about one or two seconds then you can go back to the main menu of the SNES Classic and then from there you can um, save your game state or do the rewind feature so that's pretty cool. Now there are other mods out there where you can use RetroArch so you can play like other console games on your SNES Mini but that's for another day but in today's video tutorial I just want to go over the pure basics of just adding more SNES games. So this flashing the custom current is going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to go ahead and flash, uh, fast forward, excuse me. Okay, we are completed. Great. Let's go ahead and add some games. So add more games here. Desktop, I'm going to my desktop, go into my SNES folder, select my game, say open. So it's going to be importing the games into the program. Once that is done, you can select the box art. You can do browse over here if you have cover art on your computer already, or you can use Google, or I'm going to use the bash command. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything, right click, download box art, first select the games, and it's going to go ahead and download the box art from Google, which is pretty cool, and it could be a real time saving feature. In my testing, a lot of the images that's been selected are pretty good, but of course, if you want to change the image, you might as well just check your games one by one, just verify you got the awesome library that you've been hoping for.
Okay, so let's check it out. So we got the cover art, pretty cool. And then under settings here, if I go to pages, folder structure, I'm gonna try using pages, split games equally. That's a cool option. And then also, if you wish, you can also do maximum games per, per page slash folder. I'm gonna go like 40. And then um, settings, save settings, done. And then once that's done, then let's go ahead and do synchronize select the games. And please do the following steps. Connect your SNES mini to the PC via USB cable, turn it on, installed driver is not installed yet. So my console is already on and I'm just waiting for it and it's doing its thing, great. Okay, cool, the process is done. I'm gonna shut down Hackchi here. I'm gonna go ahead, turn off the SNES Classic here. So in the next portion of this video tutorial, I'm gonna connect to my TV and show you how everything worked out. Let's do this. All right, so let's do this. So here's my games on my SNES Classic. So we got Killer Instinct, um, Metal Warriors, MK1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and just Try a game out. I have a save game file from Killer Instinct. So I'm going to go ahead and press A. Wine feature does work for these newly added games. It's awesome. So let's do this. So here's one of my favorite games as a kid playing. Um, had a lot of good times with Cinder. Let's see if I still got the old school touch. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So that's today's video game tutorial. You guys have any nitpicky questions? Leave a comment here. On YouTube page, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.